The webinar has started. Webinar has started, Mr. Ridgely. You, you are on the road. I am on the road in Dallas, Texas right now. I was in Longview, Texas on Monday and Tuesday, drove to Dallas on Wednesday, and then on to Abilene, Texas, spoke in Abilene this morning, drove four and a half hours back to be here in time to join you for this mastermind, Hubert Lee. Nice. I have to share. And mind types after dark. I love it. that. I love it too. I have to tell all the folks I got to chuckle because you were, you've been in Texas now a couple of days. And my first question to you was, Oh, originally how's Texas? And what, what did originally say? Oh, Texas is big. Yes, it's big, man. It is really big. No, man, because I landed, drove two and a half hours East, uh, hung out in Longview for a couple of days, then drove three hours back to Dallas and four more over to Abilene. And then I saw a sign and to, to San Antonio, no, to El Paso from Abilene. It was 545 miles. I'm like, what? That's insane. Wow. It's huge. <laughs> this is, is huge. This is, this is from a man who's from Florida who drives the whole panhandle and then all the way down south and then all the way back up and all the way back over. Yeah, man, that's still not as big as Texas, okay? Just saying. Yeah, just saying. All right, all good, man. So, um, Hubert. Is yes, the polar sir. vortex about to hit you or what? Oh, boy, we're getting ready. We're getting ready. So I uh, can telling everybody here, Dad, you may or may not know, huge Kansas City Chief fan. Kansas City Chiefs are playing on Saturday night in Kansas City. And the Miami Dolphins are coming to Kansas City to play against the Chiefs. The temperature at start time is negative five degrees without the wind chill. I don't know how those Miami boys are going to feel up in KC when it's like negative 20 no. with the wind chill. I'm glad I'm not there. I love to watch football in the snow. When I think of my youth, all I ever think of, this was back in the heyday of the Green Bay Packers. And all I think of, you know, imagine that grainy NFL footage of the Green Bay Packers playing in snow. And to me, that's like classic. Dr. Gene says, cold winter, windy greetings from Chicagoland, 8 to 12 inches of snow tomorrow. Can't wait. Awesome. <laughs> all right, man. <laughs> all right, let's get it. Let's get the show on the road. It was Linda say. I lived in Wisconsin, felt for anybody who had to come to Lambo to play in the winter. Yeah, no kidding. All right, let's get the show on the road. Where are we starting, Hubert? All right, so we have a couple of hot seats today, and they're going to be awesome. But I do want to take care of a couple of uh, housekeeping uh, points. Okay, and so you know we have we have great folks with us live but a lot of people watch this on replay as well so i just want to just mention this uh because we'll be reaching out richly as you know there's a bunch of people actually that had joined us through other products of ours that received their 6 months of the membership and that's actually coming due in february so we'll be doing a campaign where we reach out to everyone but you know just a heads up that come february some of you uh, uh watching the replay or on the live call, you'll need to kind of uh, connect with us and re renew your membership in the uh, PAF mastermind itself. Okay. Any Anything to say about that originally? Yeah, man, that it's awesome. And, you know, I spoke, so I've spoken to three CEO groups, uh, business leaders in the last three days. And here's what I know. And I really want everybody to pay close attention here. About 20% of the business owners that I spoke to in the last three days, three different CEO groups or business owner groups are using AI. The other, they're about another 20% are dabbling. The rest were doing nothing. What does that mean? It means that we are still so early in the game that those people who continue the process of mastering AI, you are giving yourself a massive advantage in the marketplace. You are way ahead of the competition. If you're on these calls with us, you're kind of used to AI. We use it every single day. We're playing with it every day. We're doing stuff, but that is not what's going on out there. Out there in the world, it is still so not touched. And it really is something that you have a massive advantage because you're doing it way before anybody else. So first of all, I just want to say congratulations. But second, don't stop. 
as this continues to grow, when you're the person, imagine that you'd started using the internet way before everybody else when the internet first came out, right? It's the same type of thing. Keep doing your studying, keep showing up for the masterminds. You're way ahead of the curve and we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep you ahead of the curve as we move on. I'll share some other little details as we go, but uh, Hubert, back to you. Yes, exactly. And also, and originally, you don't even know this, but I have secured this. I'm like super happy about this. I've told Kathy and she and I are setting things up on the back end. Okay, so folks, I'm not sure if everybody's taking uh, the opportunity and, and making use of the PAF brain. Okay, that's our one button push software. I know there are a couple of you that really love it. And uh, in particular, thank you, Gene, for all the feedback that you've given us on it. But originally, I have now secured and and fully tested, and we're about to go into from out of alpha test to beta test. Now we're ready to roll out. Imagine the same kind of functionality that we built into uh, PAF uh, AI brain into two different flavors that we're going to be rolling out at the end of this month and into February. Okay, one is you know originally that it's hard to kind of manually do imagery in AI. It's just a bear. You get the people with the three arms, you get all this craziness, okay? So we've actually taken care and built a version of the PAF AI brain. Now it's called PA PAF images, right? And we'll be releasing all the details. And originally it's a version of the AI brain for image generation. Very, very cool. We've also now, because this is actually, originally, you and I are kind of pros at email marketing. I mean, this is what we grew up on in this, you know, reincarnation of digital marketing, right? And you and I really have uh, leveraged AI for it. But there are a lot of subtleties in creating a really good email sequence. Cat today your wife kathy said to me today oh i love your reminder emails right i always take a little meme or a cartoon or something and put it in the you know reminder email just to kind of make it like a, a, an enjoyable thing right but you and i originally have in our back pockets a zillion different email formulas for uh campaigns there's all kinds of techniques there's there's creating open loops and and answering them later in the sequence. I mean, like all kinds of advanced stuff. So originally, email, PAF, email brain, we've also secured and, 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 and have created it and we're about ready to launch. Imagine an AI brain that's specific to creating ready to use deployable email sequences. So that's very two very, very exciting um, uh, new products that'll be available, you know, very soon. So if you're on the cusp of renewing your membership, this is the time to renew. Yeah, for sure. And especially because uh, email sequences are frankly not that easy to do. That's advanced stuff. To get an email sequence right, imagine for a second that the email sequence that you do converts at 10% more than it used to. Think of how many more people are reading your emails, connecting to your stuff, looking at your offer, buying your product or service. It's just huge. So um, really very, very exciting stuff. Thank you very much, Hubert. Yep. And, uh, well, folks, that's just the email. That's just the uh, little bit of housekeeping now and getting that out of the way. We'll we'll touch our membership uh, you know, as we go along. So Richley, back to you. Do we want to jump right into the hot seats? I know we actually have a couple of hot seats to go through. Now, I yep. know, with, I don't know, you tell me, are we starting with Fede or are we starting with Gene? And I have a, you know, something to ask you depending on your choice. Um, I'm sorry, you broke up. I couldn't hear you. Since you're going to ask me something either way. Uh, okay. Let's start with Gene. Ladies oh. first. So what are you going to ask me then? That's great. So actually, so with Gene, and she'll come on and, and tell us the whole story. But she's got she's got deliverable A and deliverable B to compare and contrast. And one is 
mind types in limbic message driven and one is not. Okay, which means that before we start, Ridgely, I'm going to ask you again to give, hi, Jean, to give a general tutorial as quick as possible. You know, basically, what is the whole idea of limbic messaging and so forth? Because I think, Jean, you tell me, it would be helpful for Jean to kind of have her um, uh, expert kind of get grounded as to what the intention is behind limbic messaging and that whole partner attraction formula approach. Jean, is that a fair statement? That's awesome. Can we bring Nehemiah up? I know that he's on. Yes, for sure. Awesome. And so, okay. Ridley, Ridley, this would be a great chance as, um, and I'm sorry, Gene, what is his name? I got Nehemiah. It. Got it. Thank you. That's great. So actually, so if originally, if you were to give Nehemiah a crash course on our approach versus the standard approach, that would, I think, uh, he would be a great stand in, um, you know, and I think that would be a benefit for everyone. Nehemiah, dude, I have to say, my wife hates me for this because I say this every single time uh -huh. I, I meet this. I, I always say, Nehemiah, I love your hairstyle. <laughs> there we go. The bald head community is in. We're here, baby. Okay. So oh, yeah. And, and, and Nehemiah <laughs> is super fun too. So we love yeah. him. Ne ne Nehemiah, I'm, you'll appreciate this because originally I'm going to tell you, once you do this, you never go you back. You never go back. It you is. You never go back. <laughs> such a joy, Nehemiah. But it's happening to me whether I like it or not. Exactly. So say it. You, just have to, you just have to embrace it and do it now. Exactly. I love it. Join, Absolutely. join the club, brother. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Let me just show you guys real quick. All right. So if you look at this right here, what we have is an image of a cross section of the brain. And what we're looking at primarily is the neocortex, which is a thin layer that goes around the head, right? It's a very thin layer. The neocortex is the youngest part of the brain. It has only been around for about 5% of the time that uh, Homo sapiens has been on this earth. So it's a very young part of the brain. However, it's the logical thinking part. It is the thing that says there's a red light, stop. There's a green light, go. So we really need this neocortex. Um, to, it's how we've evolved as a species. Here's the part that is so important, though. The neocortex is the thinking brain that is responsible for data, information, benefits, features, language, mm -hmm. but it's not responsible for decisions. Decisions are made in the limbic or feeling brain, which is right there at the heart of the brain. And this is super important to understand because we make decisions based on a feeling and then we justify the decisions based in logic, always in that sequence. So we want to touch the limbic brain first because that's the emotional decision-making part of the brain so that somebody goes, oh, this feels right. Oh, this feels good. And then we justify the decision, the buying decision, the decision to join your tribe, purchase the product, whatever that may be in the limbic brain. Super important to understand that that's how it works. Um, and so very, very quickly, limbic messaging is all about touching the limbic brain first. So somebody starts nodding their head, a process we call inducing a yes state. So that, it, and if anything else, I'll just add one more thing. A limbic message is largely an invitation into a belief. If I say you deserve to be heard and somebody says, that's right, I do deserve to be heard. They're right away raising their hand in my favor nodding their head internally, and I'm beginning that process of predisposing them to say yes to something, mm -hmm. especially an offer to buy a product or a service. Cool enough, Hubert? Very, very super that, that is awesome. And then now let's give, um, let's give Dr. Gene a little mic time, and you set the stage as awesome. to what, what we're about to see. Give us a little background and tell us how we and also the rest of the uh, mess of mine can help you. Awesome. So Nehemiah and I just finished um, an AI certification course. And during the course of that, 
um, Nehemiah was brought into one of our live meetings and he's an amazing closer. Wait till you hear him talk to you about what it is that we do. I'm the content generator. He's the automation guy. And so we have decided that we're going to work together and I have been creating web page content, email content, Facebook ad content, all of the content. And he has been making all of the pages and all those things that have to happen. My brain doesn't work that way. He mm -hmm. doesn't think about content in the same way I do. So it seems like a really cool partnership. So we are in the process of developing a webinar and a sequence in order to get people to the page via an ad or an email to a page that says, here is our webinar. And then a thank you page with an upsell. Not only are we fantastic, and but you're going to want our recording and here are some gifts for you. And then I don't know, Nehemiah. The, so we've got some examples of pages. And one of the things that Nehemiah said was, okay, so I would really like it if we're going to come to this thing that and be in a hot seat, let's compare. So we have one page that's made in the whole limbic messaging sort of way. And we have a page that is the way that Nehemiah learned how to make sales pages. And so I emailed and said, can we do this and be able to um, have some comment about how the pages are built? So that's the backstory. It's so awesome. Ridgely, yes. Isn't this awesome, Ridgely? Nehemiah, <laughs> thank you for playing along. And Ridgely, before we actually see A and B, do you have any questions for clarification for Gene and Nehemiah. Just a couple a uh, couple points. So I had a chance. Uh, Bridget Callahan invited me to come watch her presentation at the event that you guys did. Uh -huh. And Nehemiah, you were right before Bridget. And yes. So I had a to catch, and I was right before Nehemiah. <laughs> I had a chance one, two, to three. catch uh, Nehemiah speaking. And I got to tell you, for everybody on the call, worth checking out it was dynamic it was moving it was energy it was passionate i loved it i was like this dude is good who is this <laughs> I dude appreciate it. i just want to send and you so, a little love, brother because i'm telling you i was very impressed i was like yeah. i just need to make good content because he's the seller there you Got go. it. i appreciate it i appreciate those there words you go. <laughs> awesome so just by way of background for anybody that doesn't know this hubert and i came together actually at the mastermind, the only time that Jeff Walker from Product Launch Formula ever trained product launch managers. So Hubert and I became the premier duo in the product launch management training of Jeff Walker. So we've done a lot of sales pages, a lot of stuff like that. So by way of background, that is actually where Hubert and I met. That 14, is awesome. <laughs> 14 years ago, Hubert, whatever it was. And then eventually we became partners as a result of being in Jeff's Platinum Group and doing a lot of launches, millions of dollars in launches so far. So we know a lot about this. So let's take a look. I'm excited. I'm, I'm so excited I'm taking my jacket off. No, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> let's get into it. I love it. I'm, I'm uh, First and foremost, I'm super glad that you got a chance to, to watch the seminar to kind of see how we work together. And I am so excited to work with Dr. Jean. She's an amazing woman and, um, and yes, I come from the world of Jeff Walker and Mike Phil Seams and Frank Curtin. Like I've I've been a part of all their um, mastermind groups, and the latest one I've been on was Ryan Dice's. So what we're comparing is something that I've all I've kind of got. Yes, and then the best. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. And so it is. It is a comparison of what I kind of learned from the latest of the ASK method and then what she has been teaching me about limbic messaging. So I wanted to put those together and be like, okay, so let's look at these together and, uh -huh. and, and get feedback. You know, I, I won't say which page is what, but I want you guys oh, you to look at to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you won't be. Rizzi, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, Bust the surprise now and say, yeah. Nehemiah and Dr. Jean, it's if it's this and this, it's not going to be this or this. It's going right. to be this and this. I it's love it. Like, I love it. All in and take the best of both. Got it. Split test them both. I love it. Okay. Yeah, um, we, we, we probably will find, you'll probably find what Hewitt is saying is that there are probably elements of both that we mm -hmm. love. And Got then it. together, they're going to form something even better. So, well, and that's why we're here, right? Yes. Because, yes. Um, 
we don't know how to meld them. And I don't know ASK and all those other things. And Nehemiah doesn't know limbic messaging. And so what better way than to be here but, and have that kind of feedback? Yes, absolutely. All right. All right. All right I'll share my screen. Um, can you guys see my screen? Almost. There we go. We do now. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So this one's yours. Got it. <laughs> yep. This <laughs> How long did that take me? Four seconds? This, yes. isn't, this isn't mine. <laughs> this uh, And I, I guess the focus should be more on the words um, than the actual page itself, right? So the 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 word i mean the, the page itself has just been copied from what i've seen from other people do as the layout but what i want the focus to be on is the wording and how it's being said or constructed and i'd love feedback on this one okay so <laughs> you, you want to go first no oh, wait so we're going to react to this without seeing the other first yes is that is that the, is that the game let's do it yes i just want to understand the game Okay. Yes. All right. So, so my overall, so I'm going to react in, uh, with two hats on. Okay. All right. And so the first hat will be like from the perspective of, um, of, well, I'm not going to explain that. I'm just going to say originally one of my first reactions is I don't know what SLFB stands for. Mm -hmm. And upon first glance, it's not self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. So already I'm like a little, there's a little dissonance as to like, what is this SLFB? Okay. It. And it's kind of cool because in your video and behind you now, you know, I, I can see you're a streamer because like, like you, we respect lighting and, you uh -huh. know, it's, uh -huh. well, so I'm interested in what this SLFB is. It would be kind of cool to kind of see at a glance what it is. Mm -hmm. okay. And then my other reaction is that right away, I see that there's a lot of text to kind of like absorb, mm -hmm. which means that the headline really needs to like tell all, right? Mm -hmm. I need mm -hmm. to be able to like, even before I consume the video, kind of like get where I landed kind of a thing. Okay. So actually, that's my first reaction. Okay. So mine is uh, two things. One, I, I definitely think the text is too heavy. There's just a lot of text to take in. And if that if the if the video is going to be on autoplay, is that the idea or is that just hanging out in the background? Um, it's it's going to be on autoplay. Mm -hmm. OK, if the video is going to be on autoplay, I don't want all that text to take away from me paying attention to the video. OK, so if the video is going on autoplay and you're going to start speaking and you're a very dynamic speaker, we know that already. I'd rather be able to quickly absorb the text and be able to start paying attention to you because okay. otherwise I'm going to get distracted by this text and start taking it in. And right. when I get into the text, so um, I like wait, wait, wait. the fact- I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt, Richley. Just to, just to reinforce that, Richley, before you talk about the text itself, um, Nehemiah, we have to play to our strengths. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're a good looking man and you have this presence on camera. So Dr. Gene, you need to like exploit that rather than this being part of the top of one column. Originally, this needs to be like a full, large video. There needs to be like a headline on the top to set the context. And then we need to give like 80% of the screen space to this gorgeous man, right? It. It's like, you, you can't have this tiny little thing, which then also is like, all this acres of text around it. We got to like show the dude. Back to you, Rich. 100% agree. And therefore, if we think about the way things work, the way the brain works, based on what Hubert just said, we already know that video consumption is going to be more effective than text in today's world. Mm -hmm. So what do we want people to do? We want them to consume the video. So what would I like to see in the header? I'd like to see a limbic message that invites me into a thought. So I go, mm -hmm, that's right. Let me check out what this dude's going to say. Mm -hmm. And that immediately takes me to what the guy's going to say. And then after I take in a one minute video, which one minute, 45, under two minutes, perfect. Mm -hmm. As long as it's under two, you're good. Then after that, for those logical thinkers, we can have the text below. 
But if it was me, I'd have a very short message at the top, video big front and center, tell people to what they're supposed to do below the video because the video is going to give most of the content that mm -hmm. is necessary. And below that, have all the heavy text kind of a stuff. Got That's the, I would set up the page. Um, right. get, d diving into the text itself. Okay. Listen to this out loud. And I think it's a very, uh, this is a technique that I rec we recommend for everybody. Okay. Don't miss out on our exclusive free live training where you'll uncover invaluable insights on the potential of AI to drive smart scaling, operational efficiency, and sustainable business growth. <laughs> that was tough to get all that out, right? Way In one breath. Too long. Way too long. Compress that down. Get what is the stuff that matters. Exclusive live training, dash, uncover invaluable insights on AI, dash, drive smart scaling, operational efficiency, and sustainable growth, dash, simple, pop, pop, pop. There's no reason for all those words. Yeah, no, I love that. I think that's super important. The other thing, Ridgely, I would consider is maybe you do, instead of all of that, you put that in the answer, and on the top, before the video, you, you ask a question that agitates that pain point. Maybe you ask... You know, are you are you trying to figure out how to scale in a smart, sustainable way or something like that? Yeah. And the other thing I would say, and this comes from three days of talking to business owners and finding out that only 20 percent of them are using AI, yet all of them are interested in AI. You got to have AI in the title. Got it. Sure. Right up there at the top. So to me, limbic messaging plus AI, pain point drive, huge Nehemiah video, then text down below is going to get you a much more impactful bang for that buck, my opinion. Hubie, Got it. Now, from a user experience perspective, we're, 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 so just for everybody's benefit, Ridgely's heavy on the copy side. Hubert is a wizard at user experience. That's why they had hired him to help build Pfizer, MetLife, Merrill Lynch, BMW, et cetera, all the big websites when he was working in New York City. Um, Hugh, from a user experience perspective, I think we've kind so, of talked about it, but anything else from you? Yes, for sure. The choice of layout, Dr. Gene and Nehemiah, is to kind of um, cover up any weaknesses and to take advantage of any um, uh, of, you know shortfallings. This layout, is for people that like, I don't know, I'm just gonna say it like it is because it's my types after dark, right? If you look like a troll and you can't do a good video, you do a layout like this. Mm. You look gorgeous like you do and you guys are you know, articulate and everything else. You do the the, the the layout where you have, right, Dr. Gene is, is expressing it, you know, the, the headline and then the big video, right? The big video is like, you know, across both columns and then it's the majority of the screen time. You capture them, minute 45, you watch it. And then right underneath, you have a button that says register now. And then you have the text. And then if you click register now, it just kind of scrolls past all the text to the registration form, right? I mean, you know how it is. It's like, this mm -hmm. is one of the tenets of limping messaging. It's like you're sold based on the premise, like within seconds, right? And you watch the video and you read the, the headline just to kind of like legitimize your decision right mm -hmm. and so this this kind of a layout is for people that can't pull it together to have what it takes to, to kind of do it like the most effective way so i i really think you need to look at a regular more traditional layout that features the high you know uh, video content got it got it i love it right. um any more feedback on this one uh I, again i think that in the content in the in the text itself we can you can compress man when when your people are scanning so much so i love one two three four five um but you can compress that so you don't have to use full sentences in other words it does not have to be grammatically correct when it's like one two three four five you can compress harness ai uh, and I would do it in active tense. Harness AI, master AI, transform your business with AI, et cetera. Use active tense and then compress. Yeah. Harness AI for customer engagement, dash. 
strategies to increase customer engagement through AI, insights into, you see what I'm saying? You can compress the text because people are scanners mm -hmm. and I think you get more consumption if you compress it. Yeah, and I, I think that's great feedback from originally. And also that's like the how we do it part. The part that at the top of the page, even before they click play or start listening, because you said it was on autoplay, the top text needs to kind of set the context. Okay, this 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 setting the context part that you have here, the three lines here, is is too neocortex, and like I got to figure it out. Like I can't mm -hmm. figure that out in the time it takes to, you know, start getting into the video. So I would make it either more limbic or one thought about, you know, their biggest pain. So I'd love to see what the other version looks like at this point. Okay. Before you go there, you go there I would just say one thing. Yeah. Um, by, the, by the way, this is a lot of fun, Dr. G. Yes, it is. I love it. Hey, I love it. This is awesome. This is like what our mind types mastermind is about. Got it. I love it. I, I would, I, I love something, uh, something like, are you harnessing the power of, are you harnessing AI question mark? You deserve the power. Watch this video. Nice. Mm. I like that. Or Richard, just, AI question mark. You deserve the power or something Richard, like that. Really like in your face. Mm -hmm. or, or, or originally we can even be a little more like confrontational. We're going to say is 2024 the year AI puts you out of work or rises you to the top or something like that. Something very provocative. I love it. Okay. Dr. Gene, I hope your hands are going super duper fast. Very fast. Very fast. <laughs> All hey, right. Recording. Love it. Oh, okay. Awesome. Okay. So now I feel like I want to go to the, um, like that, uh, hold on. Uh, I got too many of the different ones. Okay. So this is one yeah. that I no, did. No, 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 no. I know. I know it's not the right one. You're right. Okay. It's this one. It's no, this no, 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 no. Wait, this was the other one I did. Yeah, that's not mine. This one was yours. All right, hang on. <laughs> this is this is yours with all your your the words that you came on, up hang with. On, hang on. Okay, okay, okay. Rich, rich folks, Richly and I are loving this because this is our work day all day long, Richly. <laughs> <laughs> This is like what what this is what life is like with Richly and I and our team. Like I love it. I love it. Okay. All right. So Mine starts with your vision, your thriving business, your success with Start Lean, Finish Big. That's what mine says. So maybe you should stop sharing and we'll just look at my words. <laughs> okay. So okay. Let me, I'm happy to comment on any of these, by the way. Yes. Um, can we look at this one and then go into your words, Dr. G? Sure, sure. Okay. Yep. Feedback, guys, on this one. Okay, so... Oh. So, so I'm sorry, Richly. Let me just mention this. We have such an asset here with Nehemiah on camera that there's no way it should not be like a video based kind of a layout. Got it. I yeah. love it. Okay. So, so get more clients faster. Let me just show you one thing. Uh -huh. Real quick. Uh -huh. Yep. I'm get sorry. I clicked it on the wrong one. Yep. Is cool. Mm hmm. However, it's not an invitation into a thought. It's just a statement. Mm. So if you were to say there, you deserve more great clients. The person experiencing that is going to say, that's right. I do deserve more great clients. What are you talking about, Nehemiah? Let right. me listen a little bit further, right? This sounds a little salesy and people mm -hmm. don't understand. If you say you deserve more great clients, then you're inviting them into mm -hmm. that feeling or experience that gets them to nod their head. Okay, sorry. Anyway. Yeah, no, no I, I, I agree. I, I agree a thousand percent. And also, folks, it's 2024. Like, I'm sorry, but like stock images are kind of dead. And so that's another reason why, like, mm. just put a video of yourself up there. Okay. All right. What else we got? Okay. Um, and also, just tell me, just tell me, by the way, what does SLFB stand for? A uh, start lean, finish big. Oh, then, I love that. we, we got to put that into a living message. No kidding, that's man. Amazing. That's good. We, we're okay. like burying the lead. Jeff, Jeff Walker used to always say, don't bury the lead. Got it. Okay. Yes. Look, okay. At, this. Look at this, man. Think of adding you deserve to that. 
you deserve to start lean and finish big. There you go. We're done. Mm. Okay, good night, folks. Mm. I'm, I'm, mm. I'm, I'm taking mm. you off. Mm. Mm. I love it. Mic drop. All right, go, where else are we going? Come on, let's keep working here. Okay, Dr. Jean wants to share her screen too. If if she can like elbow elbow Nehemiah aside, she wants oh to- Oh my God, finish big. Okay, I'm all right. I'm going to stop. Dr. Jean, you want to share yours? Yes. Okay. All right. And so, Dr. Jean, final yes. thing. This was based off of this script, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not it. That's not the okay. right one? Okay, that's okay. Right. Okay, all okay right. where we're going. Oh, all right. okay. Maybe. Let, Here we go. Let me, say, let me say this on an editorial kind of basis. So oh, Dr. I see the one you're sharing. Go ahead. So, Jean, I just want to say, mm -hmm. like, I just met Nehemiah tonight. Yeah. Okay. But and Ridgely and I can both tell just from this interaction, you got yeah. the real deal there. So you. Oh, I know. In, How cool is that, right? You lucked into a great partnership here. So, congrats. I think so. Yay! She's amazing. I think so. Okay, Nehemiah, <laughs> you, you can you can give me my twenty bucks later. Oh, I, see. I got you. I got yeah. you. Nice. I see where you're going with that. Okay. Right. Well, well, who really you. looked? Did I luck out or did he luck out? There's the question, right? Right. How about both? How about that? Yeah. Right. There we go. <laughs> All right. See, that's so, different. <laughs> I know that's the landing page. Okay. So, so the number was wrong in the mural board. That's okay. I'll go to the other. No, it's the other one too. Okay. This is where we start. So okay. this would be the top. And then there would be a video, and then there would be this. So, so highlight the top again. Yep. So, and originally, say again what you said about the the finishing start. Now I can't even think of what it stood you for. You deserve to start lean and finish big. Right. Oh, there you go. It. Yeah. Well, you'll see by the, it had a different title until yesterday. <laughs> okay. So, so here's what I thought of when I saw this. Watch this. Okay. When I saw this, I was like, okay, and I get excited here. Hold on. Um, <laughs> I, I thought to myself, what if you had line number one? It said, because your vision matters. Next line, you deserve to start lean and finish big. I love that. Super strong. Two limbic messages back to back. Nobody knows that they're limbic messages. They flow together nicely and really packs a punch i do like the the partner centric copy your vision your thriving business your success love all that but get that limbic message up there first man it's just oh, Ridgely, that was so important you gotta say that again yes so, please say just yeah, say oh it. i have it because okay. your vision matters you deserve to start lean and finish big i write very fast <laughs> okay, Ridgely, Ridgely, take us take us through it again rich no, I, I would say that because what you can do, uh, this doesn't happen a lot, but every now and then you can string together a couple of ling limbic messages that most people would not even know you're doing it. They would just feel it. Uh, you, so I would say, because your vision matters, dot, 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 you deserve to start lean and finish big. And all of a sudden, somebody's going to lean into that. They're going to say, wow, yeah, my vision matters. And you're right, I do deserve, based on where I am right now, I'm starting lean, to finish big. So you pull pull those two things together, and there's a lot of muscle. Because right underneath that, you can easily say, watch this video, mm. right? Because your vision matters, dot, dot, dot. You deserve to start lean and finish big. Watch this video. And then Nehemiah starts doing his magic, and it and it's all under the context of the or the umbrella of that vision that matters we're talking mm -hmm. to the client to the prospect and what that feeling that they deserve to go from small to big mm -hmm. big really really powerful love it so love this it. is the other one so it's here you deserve to start with a streamlined pathway to success and then the video got it yeah, so good. here is where all those words come from. Mm -hmm. And I hear that this all needs to be condensed. So the, yeah, all of that can be. Right. So so my, my feedback on you deserve a streamlined pathway to success is cool if you didn't have all that other stuff that you have. Right. If you have all that other stuff that you have, it's way better. Yeah. yeah. Cool.
can do. I love Perfect. it. And, Where and are we I'm going next, Amaya? I'll stop the share. What's oh, next? I, well, so so another editorial break. Originally, I told you that smart guys, uh, that bald guys are smart. See, exactly. I told you. <laughs> I love it. I right. love it. All right. Let me share the um now once the person signs up um or jo or, or chooses to join the um the uh webinar, then it's gonna go to this page that's gonna say congrats, you're registered. Congratulations on securing your spot at the event, ready to take your experience to the next level, upgrade to VIP, and then it'll be a video. I'm I'm, I'm sorry, just just to double check. Mm -hmm. So the registration is free and the VIP level here is a paid upgrade. Yes. No, it's a paid upgrade. Yeah. So this is no deal. Okay. Right. Can... This is an OTO, right guys? A one time offer. Yes. Yes. There's no deal. Okay. Got it. I love OTOs. That, that, By the that's, way. That's cool. Uh, You're cutting out Ridge. Let me, let me, Share thing for everybody. Uh, it's better. Stop, Hear stop, Rich. Can, can you repeat that? You were just a little right. It, it was like a remix tape. I loved it. There you go. Check, check, check. One, two, yes. three, 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 four. Okay, got it. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. The data on one time offers is overwhelming. If you have a registration and you have the ability to drop an OTO, as long as the OTO is related to the topic at hand and is going to enhance the experience of the user who buys the OTO, it's brilliant. It's a brilliant idea. The data is overwhelming. You upgrade, you will up the amount of revenue that you generate by a huge amount. But the key is the OT, the upgrade, the upsell, must be relevant to the content at hand. So it can't be some, uh, you know, other offer somewhere else in life that has mm -hmm. nothing particular to do with the topic. It has to be related. If you do, OTOs are great. Yeah, no, I, I, I love that. And also too, psychologically, it's like reinforcing their decision. Like, right, they're going to go like all in and, and double down. Uh, just just out of curiosity, professional curiosity, Nehemiah, what platform are you using here? Uh, this platform, I am. I think this was on Swipe Pages. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, can you go back up to the top, please? I sure can. All right. So one, um, one of my super. <laughs> I was called like it is. That's my types after dark, right? And I'm dry January, by the way. This is just water, super boring, but it's just water. Um, so, I'm, I'm, I'm making... I am not dry, and I'm almost empty. Yeah, Nor am I. I'm, 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 I can I'm going with doubles to make up for the shortage. There you go. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you guys pulling up the slack for me. All right. Exactly. So, uh, it's a tiny note. It happens to be one of my pet peeves, but it's one of those things that uh, is worth paying attention to. If it says congrats, you're registered, there's no reason to say congratulations again, right? There's just, a, mm -hmm. it's repetition. It's wasted space. Mm -hmm. So that, that congrats, you're registered. There's no need for that first sentence. Congratulations on securing your spot. Just drop it. Ready to take your experience to the next level? Great. Upgrade to VIP now. I'm not sure I would do it that way. And yeah. here's why. They don't have a reason to upgrade as of yet. I would say... To enhance your experience, watch this video and then drop the upgrade piece to below the video so that once they've checked out the video and they've been given a reason as to why they should upgrade to VIP, then you have the yes, I want to upgrade to VIP button. I love that. Yeah. And, I and, do and too. Can you guys tell me what is the nature of the VIP? What do they get? So the goal I is, is that we are giving them an extra resource to follow along. Right. What is the resource that you've got? Um, I can't remember. What is the resource? Yeah, it's, it's just, it's like a workbook while we're going through the whole thing. They have an actual workbook that they can fill something out with. They'll get a copy. They'll get a recording of the actual video. Um, and then they'll get an exclusive bonus post the meeting for those who signed up for VIP that we're going to do some deep dives into uh, their messaging and, and their irresistible offer. 
Okay, yeah, so, okay, so, so one of the things hold that on, I have on. created, go ahead. Let me jump in. So this is, that's actually a perfect, that's a perfect upgrade. But let me just make sure that um, before I forget, before this slips my mind. So what I was saying earlier really applies here. In the video itself, mm -hmm. you want to say, are you looking to get the most benefit out of this? Uh, do you want to take your experience to another level and get a jump on everybody else? If so, you'll probably really enjoy this workbook that's going to help you la, 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 take your experience to a deeper level when you join, when you come to the webinar, da, da, da. Mm -hmm. In other words, really lock in on the fact that this VIP thing, this upgrade is the thing that gives those people who take it an edge, an advantage, a leg up on faster mm -hmm. about the thing that they're about to get. Got it. I love it. So, that, love so there's a direct reason why somebody should upgrade to VIP uh, in that moment, because they're going to get instant access to the thing that gives them an advantage over everybody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I love that. And, and he, he, here's the other thing that if, if you want to like double your like VIP conversions. So let me drop this idea on you guys. So I, I have not had the pleasure of watching that video. So I don't know what the tone of the video is about. Okay. Mm -hmm. But so Gene, to maximize the, the personality that Nehemiah has in his video, if this VIP offer was around like it's 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 a video, hey, it's Nehemiah. Listen, I really like to take care take care of my people. As a VIP, I'm gonna make sure that you get it and succeed. I got you, right? And so I'm going to include this, 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 and this, these four things. But I'm also going to include my personal notes, my personal cliff notes about how to get the most out of this. And if you really want to succeed, this will, you know, I got you. I'll take care of it. So Nimai, you see what I'm saying is like, you're injecting it. your own personality in here. Yeah. It's like your personal guarantee of success. Like yeah. if, if you want, you can even offer like, you know, I'll send you my email um, address and you can, send me any follow-up questions that you have because I want to make sure you succeed as a VIP. Right? Keep it tight, though. Keep it tight. Tight, tight, I tight. I was going to say, if we've got 250 people, okay, maybe not the first one, but yeah, I don't tight. want that many I yeah, emails. But Gene, and neither does Nehemiah. Yeah, <laughs> but, 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 yeah but for the big conversion, uh, and it's further down the road, too. But anyway, I'm just dropping that as an idea. I love that note. She's she's going to be my video script guru. I, I if she's going to make it. I wrote good. it down. It's right yes. here. She's going to make okay. me sound good, and I'll do it. Yep. All right. Okay. <laughs> you guys got homework? You good? We yeah. do. And, and also, I've, I've got lots. And also, folks, just as a commentary, these guys obviously have a bit wired already. We're just like kind of adding like an extra lift here and there. Yes. These guys like are pros, and they've already got it. So good work, guys. Awesome. Thank you guys Thank you. so Appreciate much for your feedback. time. Yes, All absolutely. Right, of course. Absolutely. Super valuable. All right. Thanks for joining us. Um, and uh, we're going to pull up just a second uh, and check out something because uh, I want to show a very, uh, a very powerful uh, experience of taking tools and using them. I love that. So let me bring up Federico. Uh, who is a brilliant filmmaker, uh, incredible with all things video and film, and learning to use AI as a tool. And I really want to make this um, a, a moment for everybody because you have everything that Federico did that I'm about to show you, every one of you has access to in Ridgely's Prompt Library and Hubert's Hacks. The thing is, are you using those things? So, Fede, before we talk about the project, let me walk through. Because, dude, you did a great job. In fact, I was so impressed. I was like, man, the dude is listening. This is awesome. I, mean, <laughs> I want to share this with everybody because yes. there's no reason why anybody in our mastermind should not be doing yeah. what Federico did. Really a great job. So I'm going to, uh, well, let me close down this other stuff over here for a second. And when you said one of the best commercials ever made, I thought you were going to show the video of the testimonial video that, that actually got all of this started. Wait, no, no, no. I, I'm actually just want to show, I want to share what you did. Uh -huh. You did was very impressive. And I want to, I want 
this is here's the thing usually it's ridgely that does this right this was not done by me this was done by federico does everybody see this sales page to promote federico yeah right? we got it yeah so, here, so here's what he did he took the prompt from ridgely's library the prompt creator prompt put it in there then chat gpt says great I'm ready to assist you in creating the perfect prompt. Let's begin. What should the prompt be about? Please provide your initial idea or concept. Then all of a sudden, Federico tells AI what their role is. You're a world-class copywriter with a penchant for writing compelling, persuasive copy that builds trust. Also, all of this is coming from Ridgely's library, but he's, he's adapting it to what he personally needs. This web page is specifically designed to educate and inform presidents, CEOs, and thought leaders who put together the conference about the advantages of hiring an expert video team, the company that specializes in capturing testimonials, case studies, and the successes of conference participants and how their involvement with the conference and thought leaders has helped their business. In the, this, unlike copy like we were just looking at with Nehemiah and Dr. Gene, in instructions, to AI, you can be as detailed and as lengthy as you want. The more, the better. So it says, it should build rapport with the owner so they make the decision to use the services, buy the products, et cetera. He hits go, let's take a look. And it says, thank you for providing the initial prompt. And then goes on to say, reviewing the file. I'll start by reviewing the provided PDF. So that would be this PDF right here, testimonial super clip for interviewing. Right. Right, that's what, that's what AI is doing. Right. And then it says key highlights include better go highly praised work note, et cetera. It revises the prompt, gives some suggestions and says, okay, so far this prompt is a seven. So if you've seen me do this before, you know, a seven is not good enough. Right. We need to get this to at least a nine or above. So, uh, Federico says he looks at the questions. What are the questions? Okay. Quotes, unique skills, services, testimonials, etc., tonal preferences. And then Fede says, the tone should be direct and authoritative. The PDF centers on a unique ability to elicit deep, thoughtful, eloquent testimonials, etc., etc. Federico is answering what AI is telling him should be included in the prompt. Well done. So ChatGPT revises the prompt, gives some more suggestions, and says, I'm going to give you an eight. So we went from a seven to an eight. Really well done, Federico. It says, this prompt is more focused and aligns well. However, it can still benefit from examples, stylistic preferences, and has the suggestions and the questions to make the prompt better. So Fede goes back to work and says, okay, we got an eight out of 10 this time. I'm going to answer a lot of these things. And he does, and he gets an 8.5 out of 10. It says, this iteration integrates your feedback, focusing on a, a direct authoritative tone, unique skills. Would you like to run the prompt? No, we've got to do more. We're going to look at these suggestions and questions, and we're going to put more down here. Use a tone that is commanding and confident. Integrate specific phrases or concepts from the testimonials. Clearly articulate how these video services are different than a traditional AV crew. More instructions to AI. AI revises the prompt again and said, give some more suggestions. Now we're up to a nine. Now we could run this, but I could tell from knowing Fede that he was like, well, if Ridgely can get to a 10, I can do it too. All right. So I'm just going to keep exactly. working on it. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so Fede goes in and says, here's a specific testimonial. Where does it ask for testimonials? Right there in the questions. So if you follow the instructions that AI is giving, you can come up with incredible content. I've hired da 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 da. He's a unique skill set, the stories, et cetera, invaluable to my business. He just did nothing but add a testimonial, literally following only question one of the questions offered by AI. AI revises the prompt and says, okay, I'm going to give you a 9.5. Fede says, I can do better. Let's see. What would you like to run this prompt? Now, Fede looks again at suggestions and questions. Clearly delineate how his services are cut above. Describe the tangible outcomes. And he includes this, but this page should address potential clients' concerns at the end through an FAQ. Provide the top concerns, 
that an event organizer will have. After all, you're putting high paying, high net worth play hands in the hands of a stranger. Okay, great. Instructions to AI. Keeps on going. AI gives him a 9.7. Now we're like there already. And I was like, okay, he's going to run the prompts. He didn't. He said, I'm going to take this even a step further and says, okay, looks at the suggestions, looks at the questions, what guarantees or assurances? And then down here goes into that. This includes confidentiality, a delightful client experience, high profile clients, concierge level VIP. Our guarantee is that your clients will be delighted. They'll have a phenomenal body of social proof. In other words, Federico directly interfaced with the instructions from the prompt itself, came back with a 10 out of 10. That's phenomenal. Very How many times have you done you that, did, Rich? <laughs> I do it fairly often, but <laughs> I'm kind of doing. Yeah. He runs the prompt. Oh, Rich, you, you froze there. Did you? Did, you, did, did Rich AI just freeze for me? Highly educated. Really yeah. good job, Fede. Really great. Oh, he froze again. Sorry. How about now? My back. Yeah, no, back you're now. Good. There we go. There. Now you're back. Video's back. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. My internet's a little bit sketchy here. I'm in the back of the house. Um, really great job, man. I mean, now you've got a prompt, a 10 out of 10, and now you get a, a, a really good sales page. Now, wait a second. You think Fede stopped here? No. He ran the prompt at a 10 out of 10 and then started in on the limbic messages. Give me limbic messages from the prompt library. And look at this stuff. We believe in turning every testimonial into a story of success and inspiration. Yeah. You deserve a team that brings your business success stories to life. Because authenticity matters in every story we tell. This is great stuff. Great stuff. Right? Then he said, rank the messages. I hope everybody's paying attention here because every one of you has this prompt library. You can do this and come up with this caliber of output. This is great content, right? And now, now we've ranking the limbic messages. You deserve a video testimonial that reflects your brand's true essence because your brand's legacy matters in every frame. We picture a world where every CEO's story inspires and motivates. Remember, the target market is CEOs. Now it's saying, great, select each limbic message for each piece of the website and then tell me why. Here we go. We believe... Why is the message? Why you deserve? Why that message? Because something matters. Why that message? Etc. Then it goes on to say, now ensure that it's focused on the client. In other words, the partner-centric prompt. Everybody has access to this prompt. And then there we go. And now finally, we have this killer content. This is great. But so I want to, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, give me your questions. But this is great stuff, man the question was very simple is like how do i improve on this yeah uh, sure cuz and and to be specific it's a couple things happened while i went through that process as as i was going through the questions ridge i'm like wow this is really insightful i should include a piece on there for example one of them was um you know in terms of what is the specific sequence that you use right i mean what's your methodology what's your system which i know you know event organizers they don't want anybody you know just running off the cuff but that they do have a system and that there's a process in place right it's like wow this is absolutely great so i can see how i can flush this out even more my my thing is though with or or the piece that i was not completely happy with ridge is that i felt i had given it so much that i felt that i thought its output would be a little more sort of comprehensive, right? Mm -hmm. And to me, it didn't do that. And occasionally I find myself that I, I am, it's, it's going really, really well, like, like now. And then all of a sudden in the final one, it's like, ah, come on, man, give me more. Okay, so check this out. So it says here, um, create, can you create a thousand word sales letter by expanding on the elements? I want to leave it to the respect of cloud up. Chat GPT comes back and says, thousand word sales letter is not feasible. However, I can guide you. 
So when you get in, when you get a response like that, what you want to do is you want to go back and say, can you give me the beginning, a 250 piece beginning yeah. to the sales letter that really sets it up and tees it up and da, 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 da. After yeah. it does that say, great. Now that we have a beginning, let's work on the body of the sales letter. Right. Give me oh, okay. Words that, okay. that, that hit this point, this point, this point. And you break it down. If it's not going to give you the whole thing in one shot, ask for the piece, ask right. for the body, then right. ask for the conclusion and the call to action, telling AI exactly what you're looking for. And you see what I'm saying? Did, so, did you see actually, if you go lower down, did you see what I did? I, I remember that Hubert at some, set, at some time said, is like, look, sometimes you can override this thing. So I just asked for it again, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, watch, watch, watch. Oh, go, go just up, a, just a little bit. It says the above outline, da 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 da, da and the customer center copy. Uh, on the, uh, da, 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 da. But anyway, I asked it to write it again, and then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, okay, here we go. I'm, I'm glad, Pede, I'm glad you did that because a thousand words should not be a problem, no matter what you did. Right. Which, which ChatGPT plus option did you choose? Four. Just regular four or four with the plugins? Four plus, yeah, with the plugins because I, you know, it had it had, it had to read the the PDF, which was essentially a set of testimonials. Right. Okay. Because sometimes, I mean, like a thousand words should not be a problem. So right. Sometimes right. If you have that problem, just choose the regular and then choose like uh, four turbo. What I did is I, I just requested it again. It's like, come on, you know, uh, um, I don't know how I wrote it, uh, um, yeah, no, but I did. remember doing that. Um, and and re remember, though, man, anytime we should. Oh, look, look, I, I, I told her, you know, the above outline of a sales letter is not helpful. Based on the work we did before of identifying the best possible prompt to create the sales letter, the limbic messages and the customer centric copy, please create the actual content of the sales letter. That's yeah. what I told it. And and it worked. Right. Now, again, yeah. the what the, the the thing that is important for everybody to remember here is that AI is an iterative process. Yes. You're in constant communication with the tool. So imagine now that you're looking through here. Are you tired of the same uninspired run of the mill event coverage that fails to truly capture the essence of your prestigious conferences? You're certain that if there's any piece of this that you love, you keep it. Any piece that you don't love, you rewrite it. Take that first part where it says, dear event organizer, and make it much more edgy, direct hitting, persuasive, da, 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 and then get it to do it again. Now, I'm I'm not in chat GPT right now. I'm just looking at the, the output that right. you gave me, so I can't do it in real time. But that's what you want to be doing, because there's no reason to be satisfied with anything other than this is great. Right. And all I have to do is put my personal touch on it. I love that. Yeah. And what I was thinking of doing as well, Ridge, is through the whole process, some of the stuff it came up with was really wonderful that it didn't make it until this end letter. So I can expand on that. And, you know, and this is, you know, we're, we're, you know, us as, as, as writers or as copywriters or creators, I mean, we take control back and, t and take it to that next level. Right. That's exactly right. And you should never rest on, oh, okay, I'm done. The I, <laughs> So the other day, what was we were working on, Hubert and I, we were working on something. Um, and the output from chat GPT came with internal and external deliverables. But we were only looking for the client facing stuff, not the internal stuff. So Hubert just rewrote the prompt saying, hey, I'm not interested in the internal stuff. Give me only the externals. And you have to do that. You have to think. It's it's almost like yeah. you are serving this giant brain. You have to tell it what you need and you have to refine what you need as you're going through the process, being relentless about, no, th I, I always like to say, thanks. This is not exactly what we need. I always try to be very polite. But then can we do this? Can you do this? Remember, because it is an iterative tool, it's going to respond to whatever the commands you give it. Yes. So you can always do that. Um, and, and, and any piece of it, we believe in excellence, our unique approach. I love that. Your deserving experience as a title. I don't like your deserving experience. Right. It's something like, I don't understand what that means. So I would go back in there and say, 
rewrite this title because the line below, you deserve a video marketing experience that is nothing short of excellence. Eh, nothing short of excellent, nothing short of magnificent. Change the thing. You can tweak it every yeah, yeah. little bit, right? Yeah. So what I do a lot of times is I'll grab this content, pop it into a Google Doc, and tweak the stuff that I like with stuff that I don't like. Then once I've got it to where I like it exactly, bring it back in. Hey, how can I make this better? Yeah. It, and ask it. There's no reason not to use the tool to the fullest extent. I love what you're saying, Ridge, because look, I mean, even in that same paragraph where that, those first two lines were terrible, the very next one, you know, your clients deserve blah, 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 blah. It's like, that's really great. See, your high profile clients will be treated to a delightful VIP experience. Ah, a little too flowery, you know, but mm -hmm. it, it gets to a, a, a really, a, a very important thought, you know, while being authentically captured in testimonials that echo the essence of your brand. It's like, wow, cool. Yeah. And, and, and right. chat GPT has a tendency to be a little too flowery. So that's good that you right. noticed that. But that's what I'm saying. You grab the content, pop it into a Google Doc, make your tweaks, yeah, get it to where you like it, bring it back and say, hey, take a look at this. What could we do to improve this? And I would go so far as to say, improve it in a specific way. What can we do to make this more persuasive? to have it sound more appealing to high level executives yeah. to da 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 whatever to be a little bit more conversational and friendly yet at the same time uh a, you know a powerful statement with a big impact it's yeah. get give specific instructions as to how you want the thing improved so that the tool knows exactly what you need but bro i have to say i just want to i just want to really point out to everyone that is watching this whether that's now or in the recording this is how you use these tools. Use the prompt, adjust the prompts, iterate, 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 iterate. What you did, Fede, was exactly the right way to do this, in my mind, to really get great output. So congratulations. Yeah. I know it wasn't easy, but I'm really proud of you. And Ridge, uh, thank you. And actually turning it back to, to, the, to, to you guys, I mean, 90% of this is template and it's available in that template. You know, it, it wasn't, you know, my brilliance. I took what you guys are saying. It's like, yes, let's adapt it to this. But 90% was already within the structure. Yeah. Uh, it, and actually, Rich, there's one more thing I, I want to say, you know, about it, it. I was thinking about this and Hubert, you'll appreciate this. Um, the other day I, I, was, I was driving back home. I was like, yeah, no wonder Ridley can talk so well to the machine. There, actually, there's nobody else in the world that I would think can talk to the machine this way and here's why most of you you know listening to this don't know this but Ridley speaks multiple languages okay so he has an ability to shift from one language to the other like nobody else right multiple and here's the other thing that within 10 minutes of speaking to somebody he can pick up the colloquialisms or the accents etc of the person within that language right so when you go, when you make that shift into, oh, let me write to this machine thing, nobody, <laughs> you have the predisposition to learn how to speak to this thing because that's your ability. It's something you've been perfecting at for many, many years. So I really think that that has a huge impact, Ridge, and I really, because I've seen a lot of other people, you know, who are very successful and very good, actually, use these things but nothing close to what you guys are doing so I, I really thank you guys for 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 doing this well thanks very much man and thanks for giving everybody a great example of what's possible when you use the tool the way the tool needs to be used it's really really great uh, and that's giving us a couple a bunch of great comments in the hosts and panelists if it's you're trying to share that with everybody Nat, please uh, go down and click everyone she says sometimes i actually use a person as a case study as a customer a la Elon Musk, <laughs> have fun pit CEO personality types against each other in the industry, do ultimate fusion finale. What's the ceiling? There's no ceiling, no ceiling at all. There's no end to how far you can take this. So, Fede, thanks so much, brother. Really appreciate what you're doing. Thanks, Ridge. Yeah, really appreciate it. All right. Hubert, do we have a joke? I mean, I'm hoping we're not leaving this place without, I'm, I mean. I have a joke, but I have a prompt before my joke. So let me share okay. my screen. So all right, go for it. I was just using this and uh, I was prompted to share this because uh, Federico was talking about like he had to deal with flower, flowery language. Okay. So this, this is what I always use or a variant of this 
in my instructions to AI, and it works like a charm. Use simple language with easy to understand vocabulary and simple grammar. Keep the sentence structure as simple as possible. The tone should be friendly and helpful. Use this, make this useful for a reader looking to, and then put your goal in there. Okay, folks, this is gonna make like a night and day difference. Okay, we all get like output that's like just too flowery and you use like words that like you're like cringing at, right? Just like after you set whatever you're asking the AI to do and it comes back, just say rewrite and use and, and just say these types of things. Easy to understand vocabulary, simple grammar, sentence structure, simple, tone friendly and simple. So originally, I know like you've paid attention to this, but like at a first level, when I, when we as a team have to actually go and produce the uh, nitty gritty cut and paste type of material, we tend to have to kind of like say this and tell it to, to do these types of things. So I think this is like a big winner. I just wanted to add that. Yeah, uh, and I, I would say also, um, can you pop that in the chat cube, please? Yep. Uh, for everybody, uh, this would be something that Gene, you guys could use also. That yeah. would be a good thing for sure. All right, uh, everybody, uh, thanks so much. Mind Taps After Dark, certainly appreciate you. Our next mastermind is next Thursday, Thursday, the 18th of January at 11 Eastern, 11 Eastern, eight o'clock Pacific next Thursday. Uh, join us. It's going to be great as always. And um, right after that, uh, uh, in, in just a couple of weeks, I've got Flight Club. So we'll be having some great stuff. 11 o'clock Eastern time, 8 o'clock Pacific. Uh, so join us next week. Bring your content. Send an email, support at Partner Traction Formula with what you need us to work on. And again, just want to remind everybody, after three days in a row of speaking to business owners, we are way, way, way ahead of the curve you're in the right place at the right time and just keep doing what you're doing. All right, Hugh, what do you got? Okay, so originally, I know you like teasers like this. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? Why couldn't the bicycle stand up? I don't know. It was too tired. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrible. It didn't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> all right, people. Love you all. Have a great evening. Have a great night. See you next week. Send an email. Support a partner traction formula. I thought it was going to be a unicycle. And Linda says, okay, fine. Look, we have some very funny people on this mastermind, okay? All right, guys. Have a great night. We'll see you soon. Ciao, everybody. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs>